an elegant application of generating functions is to solve linear recurrences. So let's begin with a derivation of a linear recurrence to make their appearance real and interesting. And I'm going to begin then with the story about rabbits. Here's the story. Um, let's imagine that we have a breeding pair of rabbits and they have the property that once they're old enough to be breeding, they produce a newborn pair of rabbits every month. We're going to count rabbits in pairs just for simplicity. So a breeding pair produces a newborn pair every single month. In addition, it takes one month for a newborn pair to mature into a breeding pair. So rabbits can start breeding after they've lived for one month. And the question then is, how does the rabbit population grow? So we're interested in how many rabbit pairs do we have after n months? And the way we're going to figure that out is we're going to account simultaneously the number of newborn pairs, call that w sub n, and the number of breeding pairs, b sub n, that we have after n months have gone by. And let's assume that we start off with a single newborn pair. They're not even breeding yet. So w0 is 1. And then we have these two definitions of wn and, and bn. OK, now let's think about what do we have on uh, the next day, on day n plus 1. Well, how do I get breeding pairs on day n plus 1? Well, all of the breeding pairs that existed a month ago still exist, because in this model, rabbit pairs don't die. We could build that in later, but for simplicity, they live forever. So that means that all the breeding pairs that we used to have, we still have. So one component of Bn plus 1 is Bn. In addition, all of the newborn pairs that we had last month have become breeding pairs this month. So we can add Wn to Bn, and that's how many breeding pairs we have at month n plus 1. Oh, great. OK. What about the, by the way, that tells us that B1 is equal to 1 because we knew that W0 was 0 and uh, was 1 and B0 was 0. And so you add them and you get that B1 is 1. All right. Now, what about WN plus 1? Well, the newborn pairs this month came from the breeding pairs last month. So WN plus 1 is simply equal to BN. Now, I can take this, B, uh, take this Wn and replace it by um, uh, a Bn minus 1, because, of course, that's Wn, that's Wn plus 1, so I need to left shift. And what we wind up with is the recurrence relation that says that Bn plus 1 is equal to Bn plus Bn minus 1. Now, that may look familiar. Uh, that's the recurrence. And in fact, it's, it's the Fibonacci number recurrence. This is actually where the recurrence came from. Fibonacci in the uh, 16th century was interested in studying population growth of, 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 of various kinds of things. And uh, he came up with this recurrence relation, then went ahead and analyzed it. OK. Now, what we're interested in doing is examining the generating function for rabbits, for rabbit growth. So in other words, we're looking at the, at the generating function b of x, where the coefficients are those numbers of breeding pairs at each, for each n. So the coefficient of x to the n is the number of breeding pairs that we have on day n, b1x, b2, b2x squared, b3x cubed, and so on. OK. Now, if I rewrite the uh, recurrence relation for Bn plus 1 this way, Bn plus 1 minus Bn minus Bn minus 1 equals 0, that's a hint about the strategy that I'm going to use to find a closed form expression for the generating function B of x. Namely, um, that the fact that B of n plus 1, if I subtract Bn and then Bn minus 1, I get 0, says that if I multiply B of x by x, that's a right shift, and I get the b0s lined up with b1, and the b1 with b2, and the b2 with b3. And then if I left, if I right shift it twice, now I've got um, a b0 lined up with one, with two and one, and, and a b3, b2, b1. And if you see what's happening now, based on this recurrence, all the columns after the first two are zero. That's great. So now I have a simple way to solve for b of x. So let's get rid of the stuff that we don't care about. And remember that we, um, we have this solution then, that b of x times 1 
uh, uh, sorry, b of x minus x b of x minus x squared b of x is equal to the right-hand side b0 plus b1 minus b0 plus a, uh, times x. But we know what b0 and b1 are, so we can simplify. This just simplifies to 1. And what I discover is factoring out b of x is that b of x times 1 minus x minus x squared is equal to x. There it is. That is a lovely expression for the generating function for rabbits and Fibonacci numbers. And let's remember that because we're going to make use of it uh, in the next segment when we figure out how to extract the coefficients using partial fractions from a generating function uh, like this one. But before we do that, let's just do one more example or re recall an example that we actually have already done of using this idea of ge getting a generating function out of a, out of a linear recurrence. Okay? So let's remember we already did this for s of x. Let s of x be the, the geometric series 1 plus x plus x squared. And if I think about getting the generating function for s of x, it actually comes from a linear recurrence. Um, if I think of the coefficients of s of x as s0, s1, s2. Remember, they're all 1s, but to illustrate the pattern, I'm calling them s0, s1, s2. Then the recurrence relation is that s0 is 1 and sn is equal to sn minus 1. That's what guides me to say that the recurrence then can be reformulated as saying that sn minus sn minus 1 is equal to 0. And that is the hint that to get the sn minus 1s to line up with the sn's, I should right shift s. Namely, I multiply s by x, and I get the, um, uh, the n minus 1s lined up with the n's. And then when I subtract, Everything is 0 except that first s0, which of course is 1. And over here I have s times 1 minus x. Um, so we get the formula we've already derived, that s of x is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. And I hope that it's clear from these two examples what the pattern and methodology is. We could sort of state it abstractly and come up with a fixed formula, but I find that I can never remember the formula, but the examples uh, lead me to derive generating functions all the time.